أكثر الفتوح في العهد الراشدي هو الذي استطاع أن يؤسس القواعد الإدارية للدولة يعني تستطيع أن تقول الدولة الإسلامية في عهد عمر بن الخطاب فيها مؤسسات إدارية فيها جيش منظم فيها معسكرات ثابتة فيها سياسة معينة فيها قضاء إلى غير ذلك من الأمور التي تكون كل متطلبات الدولة The leadership of the Muslims now passed to a man with a markedly different character. Uthman became the third of the Rashidun, the rightly guided caliphs. Kairouan, Tunisia. Resting place of one of the Sahaba, the Prophet Muhammad's close companions. Abu Zama was killed in the early attempts to conquer the area during the reign of the Caliph, Uthman. The first هي حملة عبد الله بن سعد ابن أبي سرح اللي هو أخ عثمان من الرضاع دخلوا العرب وكان الجيش حوالي عشرين ألف عسكري وانهزمت السلطة البيزنطية At first successful the campaign soon ran into problems over the division of the spoils of war. The ruling elite of this empire uh, were all derived from Muhammad's tribe, the tribe of Quraysh. These people had become the rulers of a very, very wealthy empire. And they also had large armies that had been drawn from across the peninsula and now were being settled in garrisons in Egypt and Iraq. And so I think the politics and the economics of this situation were almost inevitably going to drive conflict. In 655, Mutinies broke out against the Caliph in Kufa and Basra and in the garrison at Fustat in Egypt. A year later, armed rebels marched to Medina and took up positions around Othman's house, calling on him to step down. The blockade of his house turns into a siege, things get ugly eventually he's broken into and he is assassinated, killed, and it's said that it's an awful symbolic moment. He was meditating, reading the Quran in the company of one of his wives, and the blood of the third caliph is spilt on the Quran. So you've got that emblematic moment when the word of God is splattered with blood, and it's as if the Islamic community will never know peace again. Once again, a caliph had been assassinated. But this time, the killers were Muslims. Less than a quarter of a century after the death of the Prophet, chaos beckoned. the year 656. Just a quarter of a century has passed since the death of the Prophet Muhammad and the foundation of the Caliphate. The third Caliph, Uthman, has been murdered by a group of rebels 
in the capital, Medina. بعد مقتل عثمان رضي الله عنه كان الذي يسود المدينة هو جو الفوضى الثوار كانوا يضغطون على علي بن أبي طالب ويقول لهم هذا الأمر ليس لكم وإنما هو لأهل الحل والعقد من المهاجرين والعنصار علي cousin and son-in-law of the prophet yielded to the pressure becoming the fourth of the Rashidun, the rightly guided caliphs. He immediately is plunged, far from being a spiritual sort of master, philosopher, poet, theologian, he's plunged into having to cope with a very, very murky political waters. Kufa, Iraq, bedrock of support for the new caliph, Ali. Abandoning Medina, he moved his capital here in the face of a growing threat coming from close to the Prophet himself. Calling for the punishment of Uthman's killers, Aisha, one of the Prophet's wives, and two of his closest companions, Talha and Zubair, gathered an army to do battle with the new Caliph. It came to be known as the Battle of the Camel. This set the scene for violent conflict between Muhammad's former companions. Ali was victorious, uh, and um, Talha and Zubair were defeated. Aisha withdrew from public life after this defeat. The Islamic State had fallen into its first civil war, the first but not the last. Damascus, the Syrian capital. In 634, and after almost seven centuries under Roman rule, this city was conquered by Muslims. Muawiyah, an army commander, was appointed governor of Damascus, and later the entire province. Muawiyah bin Abi Sufyan, مكث في الشام واليا بحدود عشرين سنة. فاستطاع أن يصطنع الناس ويعاملهم بطريقة سياسية هو لم يضيق عليهم وسمح لهم بالعيش كما يراؤون لذلك الشاميون شعروا بأن معاوية هو الأصلح إليهم معاوية came from the same family of the Quraysh tribe the Umayyads as the murdered caliph Uthman he refused to give the oath of allegiance to the new caliph, Ali. Many of Uthman's relatives began to demand that Ali hand over those killers for justice. And the center of Umayyad resistance uh, to Ali was Syria, which was governed by a member of Uthman's family, his second cousin, a man called Muawiyah. In 657, Ali marched northwards to quell Muawiyah's mutiny. They met at a battle called the Battle of Sifin, which was inconclusive, and they agreed to negotiate. This proved to be a canny decision on the part of Muawiyah because it split Ali's support. Some of his supporters felt that he shouldn't be negotiating. Um, as the caliph, he should just fight until he'd established his power. In January of 661, the dissidents in Ali's army decided to try to wrest power from the elite. They planned to assassinate Ali, Muawiyah, and his ally Amr, the governor of Egypt. But their conspiracy ended with only one victim, Ali, the caliph. 